What's up YouTube, it's Jonah here. A few short years ago, I had absolutely zero idea how to cook. The first thing I ever tried to cook was chicken breast and broccoli. My chicken breast would be dry and chewy. I absolutely hated it, but it was the only thing I knew how to cook, so I was stuck eating it every single day. But don't worry, I'm gonna help you avoid this horrible fate by showing you how to cook some juicy ass chicken breasts. Let's go. First thing you wanna do is bring your chicken breast out of the fridge 15 minutes before cooking. You wanna bring it up to room temperature so it cooks evenly throughout. Another tip to make sure your chicken cooks evenly is to butterfly your breast. Take your knife and cut it through the middle of your breast like this. This thins out the meat and allows it to cook quicker as well. Now, you may wonder why this cooking technique is called butterfly. Well, you see, when a chicken caterpillar crawls into an aluminum foil cocoon, you leave it out there in your backyard three days later. And when you come to open up that cocoon, that caterpillar turns into a majestic butterfly made of chicken breast. Fly, butterfly, fly. Always remember to season your chicken with salt and pepper, 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 pepper. I'm gonna add more pepper because frankly, cracking this pepper is quite orgasmic. You can also add your favorite spice. I'm going with Hungarian paprika, which is not actually Hungarian at all. I just got it from Costco. Get it on both sides of your chicken and give it a good pat. pat, 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 pat. Oh yeah, and always make sure to wash your hands after you touch raw chicken, unless you like a healthy dose of salmonella poisoning. But let me tell you, there's nothing healthy about it. Turn up your stove to a medium high heat and preheat the pan. You wanna make sure your pan is nice and hot before your chicken goes in. How do you tell if your pan is hot enough? Just add a splash of water. See that sizzle? This baby is ready to rock and roll. Drizzle some olive oil onto your pan and place your chicken away from you, unless you wanna get splattered by oil. Now the secret to cooking chicken breast is hot and fast. See that sizzle? That's what we want to see. Don't move it around. I know it's tempting, but stop. Let your chicken caramelize and do its thing. That's what gives it that lovely golden brown color. No one likes anemic chicken. Saying the word anemic while cooking chicken breast is kind of like saying Voldemort in the halls of Hogwarts. Some things are too dark to be mentioned. You want to fry each side for one and a half minutes on medium high heat to get a lovely golden brown sear. Once you get a beautiful brown crust on both sides, add a dash of water to your pan and cook for another seven to eight minutes depending on how thick the chicken is. Adding that little bit of water will help steam your chicken and keep it nice and moist. Moist is a cool word, isn't it? Let's ditch your name and can use moist instead. Moist, 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 moist. As your chicken steams, lower down the heat to medium. Three to four minutes into your steaming process, you might see evaporation taking place. If the water starts disappearing, that's okay calm down. Just add another dash of water and keep cooking. Yummy! Chicken is almost ready. Let me show you how to make a quick pan sauce. Add a tablespoon of butter and a squeeze of lemon juice. Chop up some parsley and add that in. That's pretty much guys. Easy peasy. Take your chicken off the heat and transfer it onto a chopping board. It's important to let your chicken rest for three to four minutes before you cut into it. This will allow the meat to retain its juices. I know you want to eat it now. Licky is down here waiting for some already. Time to cut your chicken. You want to cut vertically to get nice, thin, even strips. Hmm, look at how juicy that looks. Let's ask the boss if he thinks this chicken breast is juicy. Licky, is this chicken breast the juiciest thing you've ever eaten? <coughs> Think that's a yes. All that's left to do now is transfer your chicken onto a plate and pour on your pan sauce. Ooh, the only thing juicy in my kitchen right now would be this cotton of juice. And this is how you cook juicy chicken breasts every single time. No more dry and chewy chicken breasts, guys. This is where it's at. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe down below if you want to see the next episode. Like and comment on this video. Let me know your personal stories cooking with chicken breasts. Anyways, we're out.